Okay, so I just made a video about Tor and I had it up and then I remembered something else that I need to uh, probably make a, a video on is uh, ways to get around around uh, the Tor block that some sites put up there. If you go to a site that's like hosted by Cloudflare or something like that or like Google, it's like then uh you get some kind of capture and uh sometimes even when you do the capture like five ten fifteen times it still just won't let you in the site because it's put on a loop to keep tour losers out and it's uh very frustrating and keep in mind this this method doesn't won't work for uh everyone on every site and everything but uh it it should work on a fair amount of, of sites, at least uh, it should. And uh, there's also some uh, ISP, some internet service providers that have been uh, have been tracking uh, people that use Tor. And uh, so um, that's, that's something to keep in mind, because with what they could do is they could throttle your internet, or they could completely cut your internet off, or uh, they could, I guess they could block your uh, access to a Tor node, and uh, the way to get around that is to use a, a VPN. This is uh, IP Vanish. I haven't really been using this that long, it's just like, it seems interesting. Like, um, I haven't really tested it, tested it, except to test to make sure it masks your location and IP address. And yeah, it does that great, and it has a nice GUI and a little map and the settings and all that. So yeah, that's, uh, that's nice. It also gives you your diagnostics log, all that fun stuff. And then, so you can tell it to use whatever protocol you want it to. I like using uh, the TCPs because in my experience with VPNs, then it uh, tends to be a lot faster than UDP. With uh, doesn't really seem to make much difference otherwise. So yeah, faster. We want that. Want it to be as fast as possible. And uh, yeah, so. What what you do, I guess, I'm not completely sure if I have this routed through the VPN, honestly. I hadn't really uh, checked it. I'm still trying to settle with the settings and what all to put where. And honestly, I had a bit of trouble with like every VPN I'd try to use because the almighty Tor block, it, uh, it doesn't play nice with VPNs, apparently. That's why it's disabled. I don't really like having door block disabled, but VPNs do a lot better than door block because all of these range and everything that's uh, being blocked by door block, then they they are all uh, aimed at the endpoint from the encryption tunnel. So uh, that's that's really something that as long as you have your VPN enabled, you really don't need door block. And like I said. I really can't use Tor Block because every VPN that I tried, it uh, some somehow uh, Pure Block wouldn't wouldn't let it connect. I tried like disabling almost all the lists. I tried uh, adding exceptions, you know, when it comes in here and puts in uh, it newly blocks something. Some of them are highlighted in blue. We tried allowing HTTP. It's like it won't have it, so basically what you have to do is just disable it. And like I said, as long as you have your VPN enabled, all your internet traffic is encrypted through uh, the whatever VPN. Well, not whatever VPN. Like, there's only a few um, certain VPNs that actually uh, encrypt it. Most of it's just... Uh, uh, in point-to-point -point tunneling, 
so it creates a tunnel where it doesn't go all over the net before it goes out through the, the exit node, but not all of them are encrypted, but IP vanishes, they don't keep logs for where I could find, they're, they're, they seem pretty good, they seem pretty solid, so that's, that's why I, one of the reasons I chose them. Another one, good one is uh, private internet access. They seem to do pretty well. They don't have like qu quite such a showy uh, GUI, but they have you know a little little window that allows you to modify some stuff and connect to different servers and all that. So basically, what it, uh, what it is supposed to do is uh, you connect to Tor and uh, you go and you want to go to a website, and you'll get that uh, that capture thing. Really, in the most optimal circumstances, then it it shouldn't uh, it shouldn't give you the capture. But I think Google still does for some reason. Yeah, so. At least it's not one of those like super freaking hard casters. I remember that when I used Tor on Google before, it'd be like the ones that are like all all over here, like way distorted, like like um, dripping mascara or something. You can't read anything, but yeah. So see how it works. Now you can use Google on Tor through VPN. You don't have that. That that capture that's so freaking messed up you can't even like to, I'll I'll just uh let's see really bad capture let's let's see if we can if I can get you an example of like what it used to look like like it would look something like maybe that I think that's actually an equation but still it's like is that really, is like, do you expect me to be able to read that? Like, a computer would honestly have a better chance of reading, so, like, some of this stuff and getting it right than an actual human would, which is, like, the complete opposite of what it's supposed to do. But still, it'd be some, like, insanely distorted one that you can't make heads or tails of, so... At least that's good. At least now you can use Google again can use Google through Tor again to search whatever. And then uh, apparently it, it keeps it so you don't have to use the CAPTCHA every time. So yeah, let me see. I'm not sure what sites and what, are, what all are uh, have blocked Tor or attempted to block Tor, but... Um, I'll try this for the, obviously that's not one, um, I don't know, maybe we just, I'll use like, Cloudflare. Cause I'm pretty sure that most of the ones they host have, uh, tour nodes blocked and all that. Um, let's see, Cloudflare. Yeah, and it does this. And I actually had the VPN running before, uh, before I entered Tor, so it might have like done the the endpoint tunneling and then connected to Tor, which honestly wouldn't help that much. But hmm. So yeah, you might have to do that. Oh, 
Oh no, it worked. It worked. There we go. Now we can visit sites hosted by Cloudflare. Yay, finally. I always hated that because literally what would happen is you would do like 15 of these and it would still like you know for certain that you got at least one of those completely right and then it would it would uh, not not let you go in because it would always block tour nodes but now it works so there we go get IP vanish get all that good stuff set up and you can tell it to go wherever in the world you want it to I just just picked Atlanta because I'm like, you know, Atlanta's a pretty big city. They probably have one of their main bases there. It's also like one of the first ones on the list. And lowest mill. And everything, so, uh. Sorry, again. Using, uh. I have an Xbox 360 USB controller uh, wired through a uh, Turtle Beach X41 headset and uh, I should probably change the battery sometime soon because uh, for some reason even though it's wired it requires the headset to be on which requires batteries and all that but yeah you know if you got a old USB headset then you know, a little uh, free tip, go ahead and plug that into your computer and it, it should come down here and automatically install the drivers for you and if not, you can like look them up and then uh, just plug in the controller and the, uh, the headset like you normally would as if you were playing in your Xbox and it should work. I mean, you might have to come down here and tweak some recording and playback settings like set the microphone and headset and all that stuff to default communication or default device or whatever but yeah for anyone who's interested it's a Mad Cat's Call of Duty Black Ops gamepad you just connect the headset through there and it actually has a really good little picture of what they look like except it doesn't have that middle thing right there but anyway so yeah a little uh, sidetrack but still kind of relevant and uh, hopefully it'll help somebody Anyway, so yeah, this finally works now. You can use Tor, like, Tor accepted everywhere through VPN. So, uh, yeah, it's, that's great. Fun times, fun times, doing all those freaking captures. Anyway, so if you want more, more stuff like this, you know, uh, leave some comments, what your thoughts and opinions are on it, like or dislike, tell me how it was. And uh, subscribe if you want more of these, because uh, I have plenty more of these to do. Just some nifty stuff I find on the internet, and browsing around, endless searches of what's new and what's all that. Anyway, I'll see you guys later.